Good morning, everyone. I'm meteorologist Kyle Keel. Now outside the studio, we are talking about the snow that's falling. The snow is starting to fall down at a light to moderate rate here outside of our studio in downtown Davenport. And uh, we have Brady Street behind us here, and the road is looking pretty good. It's it's primarily wet, but we've got 8th Street across the way to there toward Palmer, and it is completely covered. So it's a lot of those side streets that are going to have the issue here as we head through the morning hours. But as the snowfall does continue, as we look at first alert live Doppler radar, it's going to pick up in intensity here as we head through the morning hours. So we could see snowfall rates up to an inch per hour as that snow moves through during the morning commute. And that could overcome that uh, relatively warm ground that we have. So uh, we're going to continue to track that here as we head through the morning hours. Uh, let's take a look at the seven day forecast because we've got even more wintry weather ahead. Uh, the snow is going to come to an end here as we head into the evening hours. We're talking 9, 10 o'clock. So totals are going to range from 6 to 12 inches by the time all is set and done. Uh, some of that snow is already melted as well because of the warm temperatures. Tomorrow we'll have temperatures close to 30 degrees with snow moving in late. This will be light snow, maybe a half inch to an inch of snow out of that. Uh, that shouldn't have too many impacts here on your Thursday morning commute. We're dry on Thursday, then we're tracking another potential winter system on Friday, which could bring another round of snow and wind. And then behind that, we are talking some brutal Arctic air. I'm telling you that three degrees on Sunday and Monday might be a little conservative for your high temperatures. We could have dangerous wind chills below zero, so a lot to keep track of. Uh, we're going to have an update on the road conditions as well as the power outages coming up in the next half hour of Quad Cities today.